today's video is going to be about the different types of dolls that collectors have in their collection. Let's get started! Okay, so the first kind of doll that people have in their collections is the wrecked one. You probably received this doll for Christmas or your birthday when you were 7 or 8 and you destroyed her. She may not be an AG doll, chances are she's like off-brand. This is Brienne, she's a Maple girl, which is like Canadian AG kind of. And if she is off-brand AG, your mom probably got her for you as like a test doll kind of. And she probably sits in a box in your basement or in the corner of your doll room and she's never in photos or videos. So the next doll that people have is the beat up one. This is the doll you probably had second longest and it's like the one you bought when you started collecting dolls and you've probably attempted customizing her a couple times as I have with Sage, like I've eye swapped her or I've just taken her eyes out a couple times so now her eyes look kind of weird and her eyelashes aren't quite right. And yes, yeah, so you've probably tried customizing her a couple times and now she's a little bit nasty and messed up but she's still slaying the day away like Sage is. You got her with the intention of collecting dolls, so you know how to fix all the problems she has. The next type of doll is the chill one. This is the one that you don't necessarily love any less, but they're not also not one of your absolute favorites, and you're weirdly okay if they get hurt or fall over. Like if you're taking a photo shoot and she just kinda face plants, it's okay. The next type of doll is your low key, high key favorite. This is the doll that's literal goals. So photogenic, so perfect, and you're obsessed with them and pick them up all the time just to look at them because they're so perfect. This might be a couple of your dolls, like a couple of your top ones that you like the best, and they always get their picture taken and they're always getting photo shoots and they're on your Instagram or YouTube account a lot. This is also like the one that you use to talk in intros of videos and stuff like that. So yeah, this is Angelina, girl of the year 2016. Slay in the day. The next type of doll is the forgotten one. They're the one that you never take pictures of and they're never really on your account except in like all my dolls videos and posts and things like that because you never take pictures of them and they just never get used. Which doesn't mean you dislike them, like they're still one of your dolls, but they just don't get used. So for me, this is Alex. He's a Felicity with a BB wig from Monique and some freckles and I just never take pictures of him and never use him because I don't have any clothes for him. Also I don't really like his wig but that's Alex and that's why I never use him. The next type of doll is the everyone else doll. These are the dolls that at one point you were so absolutely in love with that you had to have which is the case for me with Ivy. Or they were dolls that you always had liked, but they are retiring, so you're like, I have to get them before they go. Or like, they're girl of the years, and everyone goes and gets the girl of the year on January 1st. So you're like, oh, I gotta, or just I gotta get her because she's girl of the year and she won't be available after this year. So these are the everyone else dolls that usually end up playing background characters in stop motions and things like that, but they still get their pictures taken of because you still love them. The last type of doll is the newest one. This is the one that you got most recently and you're literally obsessed with them because they're brand new and they're probably also really nice because like their vinyl is still really matte and smooth, it doesn't have any shine marks or anything, their hair is in really good condition and they got that good new doll smell and you just pick them up and look at them because you're like oh my gosh I have a new doll, I can't believe I have this doll and it just makes you really really happy and then you get another new doll and they get replaced and degraded to one of the other categories I mentioned. Okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to check out the rest of my channel and my videos and subscribe. Thanks see you next time.